Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada. In this video, I will take a look at how to use the Avada title element title types. Titles don't have to be just static. There are several cool ways to animate your titles to make your site pop. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to be notified of all new content. Okay, let's begin. The title element is obviously one of the most used elements in Avada, but it has some features that are perhaps sometimes overlooked. Be sure to watch our How to Use the Title Element video, listed below, for a full rundown of the element's other features, but here we're going to focus on the title types. I've imported the Freelancer pre-built here, and we have several titles at the top. If we look at the top option on the General tab, with Avada 7.12, there are in fact five title types. Text, Marquee, Rotating, Highlight, and Scroll Reveal. The text option is the standard title and is well covered in the title element video, so let's look at the other title types, starting with the next one, a marquee title. Older users might remember the marquee HTML tag, which was heavily used in the 90s. It's a deprecated HTML tag now, but there's a lot of call again for this retro style, and so we added it into the title element for you. To demonstrate this effect, I'm going to take this third title here and turn it into a marquee title. Before I do that, I might style it first. So on the Design tab, I'll set the font size to 32 pixels. And with the font color, I'm happy with color 4, but I'm going to access the global color options and add some transparency to this color by adding minus 75 into the alpha channel. There are also text shadow and text stroke options here, but for this example, I think I will leave this off. So now I will go back to the General tab and change the title type to Marquee and immediately the text starts to scroll across the screen. There's an option called Marquee Direction, which can be left or right, and there is an option called Mask Edges, which blends out the text at each edge. Yeah, that looks cool. The default marquee speed is 15 seconds, expressed in milliseconds, but of course this can be adjusted. This is perhaps still a bit slow for my example, so I think I'll set this to 7 seconds. Yeah, that looks better. The marquee speed is the time it takes for the full text to scroll across the container it's in, and so it's connected to the length and size of the text, in that if that's bigger or longer, it has to move more quickly to scroll across in the allocated time. OK, let's move on. The next title type is a rotating title. To demonstrate this, I'll just scroll down to the next section, and here I've added a new title under the About Me title. I'll just edit that, and change the title type to Rotating. As we can see, this title type doesn't use the title text, as it's built up of before and after text, with the rotating text in between. OK, the first options when choosing this title type is Rotation Effect. There are nine options in all. They are Bounce, Clip, Fade, Flip, Lightspeed, Roll, Typing, Slide Down, and Zoom. Regardless of which effect you choose, the following options are the same. I'll just select Clip. The first option to choose after you pick your effect is Display Time. This controls the delay of animation between each text in a set. You don't have to have more than one set of rotation text, but if you do, this determines how many seconds there is between each one animating. Then there's an option called Animation Mode. You can choose from Loop, Once, or None. Just note that as the description says, rotating text will either run once or loop. In this case, I want the animation to continue after all the sets have shown, so I'll set this to Loop. Following this is the Before Text option. This text is the start of the title before the animating part. It's just static and a normal title. For this example, let me just start with IMA. You don't need to add a space at the end as the element takes care of that automatically. Then comes the rotating text, and here you can set as many sets of text as you like. Each one will follow after the other, determined by the display time, and each will have the same effect chosen at the start. I will add a few sets here. I'll add UI and UX, Web Design, Writing, and Photography. OK, that looks a bit strange until I add my After Text, which is next. This is also static text and follows the rotating titles. Here I'm going to add the word Expert. Yeah, that looks better. Another two options that are in the Design tab when you choose rotating or highlighted text is the Animated Text Font Size and Animated Text Font Color. If the animated text font size is left empty, the heading size or font size override will apply to the animated text. For this example, I'll just change the animated text font color to color 5. 
There are also options for a text shadow and a text stroke if you want your font to really stand out. For this example, I'll leave them on No. And at the bottom is a margin option for the element as a whole. OK, I think that looks awesome. There are many ways to set these up, and how they work will depend on your situation and choices. Here, as the title is centered, both the before and after texts are pushed out as the rotation text expands. If I set it to left aligned, the before text is static, and if I set it to the right, the after text becomes static. For this, I'll leave it in the center. OK, so next, let's now look at the highlight effect. If I switch over the title type from rotating to highlight, it keeps the before and after text I had, but the highlighted text section is empty. With this title type, you only add one set of highlighted text. So here, I'll add web design into this field. The highlight title type comes with 11 different effects. Circle, curly, marker, underline, double, double underline, underline zigzag, diagonal bottom left, diagonal top left, strike through, and X. The default is circle, but I think I'll set it to underline zigzag here. Then there's the animation mode option again. Here you can set this to none if you don't want any animation on the effect, but in this case I want it to animate once. There is also an option called Highlight Animation Duration, which controls the duration of the highlight animation in milliseconds. Under this is Highlight Shape Thickness. Here you can choose between 1 and 100. For my example, I think I'll go with about 6. Under this is the Highlight Smudge Effect option, where you can choose if the highlight shape should have a slightly smudged gradient effect. I will leave this on No. In this case, I might also increase the highlight top margin on this a bit, to make a bit more space above the highlight. I'll also delete that separator below this, and increase the column's bottom margin. When you choose the highlight effect, along with the two options I mentioned earlier that are added to the Design tab, another one can be found, Highlight Shape Color. I might set this to Color 4. Yeah, that looks snazzy. OK, finally, let's look at the Scroll Reveal title type. This one was added with Avada 7.12, and it comes with a heap of effects and behaviors. To demonstrate this, I might go back to the top of the page and edit this title and change it to Scroll Reveal. Nothing really changes when I choose the Scroll Reveal option, as the effect is going to depend on your selected options. The next option down is the Scroll Reveal effect. There are eight of these. Color Change, Unblur, Random Assemble, Slide Up, Slide Down, Turn, Rotate, and Scale Up. Depending on your chosen Scroll Reveal effect, you might have the next option, Scroll Reveal Basis. This controls the basis for the reveal effect, be it in lines, words, or characters. Under this is the Scroll Reveal Behavior. This option stays active for all effects. What this does is to control when the effect takes place. The choices are Animate on Down and Up, Animate on Down, and Animate Once. Following this are a few more options to really tweak the way the effect works. There's an option called Scroll Reveal Duration, which controls the duration of the scroll animation effect. One called Reveal Stagger, which controls how the start times of the individual animations within a scroll reveal effect are staggered. And Scroll Reveal Delay, which controls the delay of the start of the scroll effect. Finally, there is an option called Enable Scroll Reveal above the fold. If set to Yes, this enables the scroll reveal effect even if the title is above the fold. Just note that this can lead to a flash of unstyled content. So as you can see, there are hundreds of possible combinations here. Let's have a look at a few examples of the scroll reveal title type. I'll just set this container up a bit differently to give the effect more room to occur. OK, so here it is with color change. This is unblur. This is random assemble. This is slide up with the reveal basis set to words. This is slide down with the reveal basis set to characters. This is turn. This is rotate. And this is scale up. OK, as you can see, there are loads of choices with the title element types. And with these, you can make almost any type of title imaginable. Go wild. OK, that's it for this video. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos. And if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.